Hey, Janice. Have you been doing all right with your husband recently? <laughs> huh? You haven't been getting the cold shoulder or anything from your husband these days? <laughs> like when you try to talk to him, he just ignores you or when you invite him out, he says no? You haven't noticed anything like that happening between the two of you lately? Why are you asking me all of this all of a sudden? It's very rare that I ever get a text or call from you, Isabel. And having you ask about my husband is even stranger. Are you sure you're not confusing me with another woman named Janice or anything? <laughs> I'm sorry, Janice. I don't think I know anyone else with the name Janice besides you. I just wanted to talk to you about something that I think might be bothering you lately. The reason that Jerry has been so cold to you lately is because of me. Right now, I'm going out with your husband. And all this started a couple of months ago, and we've been going strong together. Uh huh? Haven't you noticed that for the past few months, Jerry's been going on business trips a whole lot of more frequently? In reality, he's only been coming over to my place so that we can go out together. I'm sorry, I happen to get a hold of the man you love. But you should have known that I'd be coming back one day to get what you took from me. W wait a second, um, you're going out with Jerry? Y you and him are really dating now? I have no reason to be joking with you about this. The man you had been so happily married to is now in my hands, but that's bound to happen since you've always been in my shadow ever since the two of us were in school together. When I first heard that you had gotten married to a CEO, I really, really felt that. There's no way a man like that should be wasting away with a low-life scum like you. So I'm sorry to say this, but let me have your husband now. Huh? The spot you have next to your husband and that beautiful penthouse you live in with him are now mine. It's about time that I'm the one who won Jerry to my side. If you understand everything I've told you, I'd like it you got out from that penthouse right now. But him and I have been divorced for over three years now. Huh? Um, well, Jerry and I got divorced years ago. I never got around to letting everyone know about it or post it on social media, so I'd assume you never knew anything about this. Divorce? And three years ago? Yeah, surprise, I guess. Why are you telling me a bunch of bull crap right now? Do you think that telling me these crazy lies is gonna let me leave your husband alone? What? Um, that wasn't a lie. Everything I said is very true. There's no way, Janice. I can see on that man that he has a wedding ring on his ring finger. Why would he still be wearing that if he was divorced? Come on, do you really think that I'm stupid enough to fall for your lies and will leave you alone? Please, <laughs> I know all of this hurts to hear from me, but I'd never joke or lie to you about the man I love. I'm sorry, but I'll pass on believing you. You're wrong though, Isabel. I'm telling the truth when I say that him and I are no longer married. We divorced three years ago over some things that I'd like to sort of keep private. If you'd really like me to believe that you and him are no longer a thing, then show me by divorcing him right now. I'd like for him and I to get married really soon, so hurry up and get those divorce papers. When I've seen that you've signed the papers, then I'll trust everything you said. Hey Jerry, I heard that during the time we've been divorced, you've started going out with one of my good old friends from back in the day. I don't care who you choose to date now, that we're no longer a thing, but can you please make sure to explain everything to her before she comes to me spewing misinformation? What? Since when did you learn that Isabel and I have started dating? I got a few texts from Isabel about it. She seems to think that you and I are still married to each other. She told me that she's stolen you from me, so I have to divorce you now. What? She thinks that you and I are still married to one another, and that she's done a great job stealing you from me. I already know that she's a bit of a nut, but you have to do a better job at clearing things up when you talk to her. You and I divorced years ago, and you're still wearing the wedding ring. To her, she thinks that was a good enough piece of evidence to use as a reason for you and I still being together. You're kidding me. What the heck? Isabel really went and started talking to you again? Well, I'm just glad that she started talking to you, which leaves me in a clear. If she started talking to my wife, I'd be in huge trouble. <laughs> uh huh? What do you mean by your wife? 
Ah, now that I think about it, I never got around to telling you. I actually got remarried to another woman. <laughs> I think her and I fill out the paperwork about a year after we got divorced. <laughs> Seriously? Um, then why are you going out with Isabel now? If you just put a little thought into it, you'd probably get your answer. I'm only with Isabel for the ride. <laughs> huh? But if she were to seriously start talking to my real wife about her being with me... I'm so glad that she thinks that you and I are still married. It really helps me out a ton. Just thinking that she might have started to talk with my current wife... God, does it make me feel sick. <laughs> Jerry, you still haven't gotten over your urge to cheat? The whole reason you and I split was due to you cheating on me before. Now you're with another woman? And you're even cheating on her? Well, it can't be helped, can it? I'm just the kind of man that's into these sort of relationships. <laughs> I have the ability to literally get any woman to come my way. Even those within my company. <laughs> huh? But when it comes to someone like Isabel... She's far better than the rest. That's why I really enjoy using her as my toy right now, and I'm sure that Isabel has the same intentions with me. But perhaps I should start being more serious with her. Don't say such awful things, Jerry. You have a wife right now, so I want you and Isabel to leave each other, please. I thought it was already enough having you sleeping with another woman while we were married, but for you to do it again to another woman again? You went through all the trouble of getting remarried, so you should take better care of her as your wife. And I am taking great care of her, but the relationship I have with her and the one I have with Isabel are both very different. <laughs> and besides, if I started to only focus on my wife and nobody else, what would all the other women that want to sleep with me think? <laughs> huh? Well, for the time being, I'm sorry that Isabel went and got you involved in this. <laughs> I'll make sure from now on to tell Isabel about the reality of us two, okay? The fact the whole reason you and I got divorced was due to you cheating, and yet here you are again, doing the same thing to your current wife. I'm just glad I got rid of you when I did. You saying things like that must mean you still care a little bit about me, right? <laughs> if that happens to be the case, do you want to try getting back together with me? <laughs> I wouldn't mind having myself another wife to cheat on. <laughs> Don't start making fun of me, Jerry, because of everything you did, the memories I have of you are all very depressing. So if I'm ever to get married to another man, I'll make sure he has no intentions of ever seeing another woman. I'd never once think about getting back together with a jerk like you. But it was because you married a jerk like me that you were able to live in a penthouse with a huge CEO. <laughs> are you sure you're not missing the life you had with me? And that's why you want to get back together. <laughs> you can't tell me the truth, Janice. <laughs> Excuse me? If you'd like to get back together, you can message me anytime. Now, I'm heading out. Starting today, I'll be living in the penthouse. I heard that you had no desire of leaving this place, and so you had to be tossed out. Huh? I was told by Jerry that you didn't even want to divorce him yet, so while you're still around, he said the two of us can't get married yet, but we can still live together. It's all because you just couldn't let go of him and I now have to wait longer to be with my man. I'm just glad he was able to get you out of the penthouse. You're lying, right? Wait, are you telling me that you've seriously started moving into someone else's house already? Someone else's house? What the heck does that mean? Today this place is going to become Jerry and my place to make love. <laughs> I was actually a bit worried that it'd take him a long time to get me in, so I made a duplicate key for the place that I'll be using. What? So this means that you haven't even really talked to Jerry yet about going and staying in his penthouse? Well, when you put it that way, I suppose so. But I know that he'll be fine with it. After all, he loves me and wants to marry me as soon as he can. That's the kind of cute love the two of us share, unlike you. I don't think there's anything cute about your guy's love. What? The only thing that's not cute here is the fact that you still haven't divorced him even after being kicked out of the house. I keep telling you to hurry up and leave my man, yet you do nothing. I have no other choice but to toss all of your things out of here as well. 
Now that all your things are gone, there's nothing reminding him of you here, so you really do have nothing better to do than divorce him. You threw out all those things? I did. Every last thing is gone now. I was able to get someone to come here and take care of it all. I could definitely see that you had a lot of nice things since you've been the wifey of a wealthy CEO. I bet if I sold a lot of that online, I could have made thousands and thousands of all of it. All of your things were very luxury brands, so you must have had it all made out for you here. You, you're lying about all that, right? Doing that to someone else's things? But I told you that starting today, I'd be the one getting to live this luxurious life with Jerry, and so all of those things were technically mine. So this all means that you're never going to come back to this penthouse ever again, right? This'll be the place that Jerry and I can start making a family together. A woman that's no longer loved by him is only getting in the way now. Isabel, I want you to go out and get all of those things you just threw out. If you don't do any of that soon, I'm sure that his wife is going to call the police on you. Huh? His wife? That's you, right? Do you really think that it's a good idea to call the police on me over this? All I did was get rid of the little roadblock that was in my way of taking my seat next to my CEO. I never did one thing that was a crime. You went ahead and vandalized someone else's things. You took all her things and broke them down and threw them out, right? And the fact that the person that threw those all out is the person her husband is sleeping with. I don't think you'll be able to hide all of this from Jerry's wife now. Huh? Why do you keep saying his wife like she's not you? And I told you all of this before, right? Him and I have been divorced for three years now. And then after that, Jerry ended up getting married to another woman. And that penthouse is the place where Jerry and his current wife live. Huh? But that was the lie you made to try and get me to leave you alone, right? You really are divorced? We are. I wasn't able to deal with Jerry cheating on me anymore. And so the two of us got divorced. Actually, while we had been married to each other, he was sleeping with all kinds of women. I knew about that for a little while, but I just couldn't stand to be with him any longer and had the two of us divorce. What? But to hear that he got married, when I first heard that from him, I had to look into them myself. And he really did happen to get married to a very well-off lady. And I know you've heard of him, that that's his penthouse and all, but I think that the two of you are going to be kicked out of there once his wife founds out. Huh? You're lying! This penthouse is Jerry's, right? And I never even knew that he ended up marrying a really wealthy woman! And when I learned about all of this, I was surprised as well. I never thought there would be anyone willing to marry the CEO of a company that was about to go bankrupt. And even crazier is that she actually has loads of money. Um, what do you mean by his company going bankrupt? Ah, uh, there's actually one other reason him and I got divorced. When I had first heard he was cheating on me, I really had no clue of who he was sleeping with behind my back. And at that time, I was already upset at just knowing that he was cheating on me, and that was enough for me to start thinking about divorce. However, it turned out that he was sleeping with other employees within his company, and soon they started to speak up about it. That's of course when I lost it and chose to leave him, because I just could not deal with his crap any longer. His company began to go downhill, and it was only a matter of time before he'd have to either leave the company or go down with the ship. So the two reasons I left Jerry were because of his cheating and the fact that I couldn't see him saving the company from the image he gave it. Huh? That's the whole reason I thought after our divorce, that company and him would go under, but to learn that he'd get remarried and that his company would stand back up really shocked me. I'm sure that his current wife was willing to help his company out by handing him a large amount of money. Are you serious? Now I don't want to say anything more, so you should really go and get all his wife's things before she comes back. I really don't think that even in the case that Jerry got kicked out by his wife, he turned to you become his next woman anyway. He told me before that he only views you as a hit toy for pleasure. And since you're not the brightest woman in the world, I think he'll have no other choice but to toss you aside. Then there's no way he'd do something like that to me. He's told me so many times before that he loves me. He even told me that one day he wants to make me his new wife and everything. So why would he be saying that if he has another wife with a lot of more money than me sitting by his side? If he loves me as much as he says he does, then I should be the one he wants to marry, right? Well, then why don't you just prepare yourself and wait in that penthouse to see what all goes down? Then you'll be able to learn firsthand the truth behind of all this. But to be honest, I don't even know what will really happen. Nor do I care.
What am I gonna do, Janice? I was just told by Jerry that he wants me to leave him. I had been waiting all day for him to come home to here, right? But him and that wife of his walked through the door with their hands held tight and they both looked like they were having a ton of fun together, him and I together right now, and yet he went out on a fun date with his wife? That can't happen. Whoa, so it seems he's having a better relationship with his own wife than with a toy. And then when I went up to him to ask him to marry me, he responded by saying that he wanted to know how an ugly woman like myself got into this house. And then he went and kicked me out of the house with the help of his wife. He then turned to her saying that I'm only one of his toys and that she was nothing to worry about. He didn't even make an eye contact with me as he told his wife that. So that must go to the show that Jerry really does love his wife more than you, huh? And then his wife told me that I would need to pay her a settlement as well as repay her for all the things I threw out. That all comes out to be $200,000 and she wants it paid in cash. $200,000 paid in cash? That's quite a large amount of money, huh? Right? Right? There's no way this could ever happen, right? But then his wife told me that if I couldn't hand over the money right then, she'd call the police on me. And that's when Jerry said he doesn't care what she does about me. Well, I mean, when you looked online, you saw that a lot of those branded items all went for thousands of dollars, right? And you went ahead and vandalized and technically stole all of that and more. And when it comes to the settlement she's asking for, I'd assume she wants a lot of money from you for cheating. But that much? I don't have that kind of money, especially not in cash. Hey, Janice, what should I do here? You should be willing to help me since uh, I'm your friend. No way, no way. I don't even want to deal with you. Huh? I know that all this turned out to be a huge misunderstanding for you, but you thought... You knew that he was my husband and still started going out with him anyway, right? You pretty much said it yourself. You stole my husband from me, right? Do you really think I want to help someone that's done that? I get... Uh, I get that and all, but this all turned out to be a misunderstanding, right? And so I never actually stole anything from you, so you should be fine with helping me. I really am asking you right now to please help me. If you're looking for someone to help you pay off that money, why not ask Jerry to help you? After all, he's the man that got you into all this mess, right? And now I'm going to leave. I have nothing to do with your guy's drama, so please, don't drag me into this any further. What? Why is this happening to me? It's all because of your friend that my life is coming to an end. My wife is asking for me to divorce her, and then she wants to kick me out of this place. And now she's not even going to be around to help me with my company anymore. Why the hell is this happening to someone like me? Ah, I see. So you're also going through some tough stuff now. Well, no matter what you tell me, I have nothing to do with you guys. Huh? But this is all because of that friend of yours. Yet you are still trying to say that you have nothing to do with this. Before you start saying that she's a friend of mine, remember that you are the one that started sleeping with her. You knew about her being my friend, yet you still did it anyway. So stop trying to blame this on me, when I haven't even been around for you three years from now. Shut the hell up! You keep saying it like I care about her, but all she was to me was a toy. Yet, she thought she had the right to sneak into my penthouse like that. It's all because of her that my life has turned upside down. Don't try to act like you're not to blame for all of this. You have a wife with you and yet you still decided to go out with another woman. And of course, it turned out that your wife was the one helping keep your company out of going bankrupt. Yet even with all the help you got from her, you decided it would be fantastic to start cheating again. It's funny that you weren't ever embarrassed to admit all of that to me. Shut. Shut the frick up. Do you think this is all okay for a CEO to do? You said after all those women around you, you want to play with you, right? But having all of them around you was due to your wife being so generous and loving towards you, right? Yet, you thought it was all because of you that you had a selection of women to choose from and that's why you started cheating again. That's really something to be ashamed of, you whore. D did you not hear me when I said for you to shut up? I'm not going to forgive you for calling me out like this. Oh my, you're starting to scare me now. <laughs> Well, if you don't want me calling you out and making fun of you, maybe try putting your phone down and quit texting me. I mean, if you have the time to sit here and blame everyone but yourself, then why not use that time to try and fix your company? 
you're going to lose your wife's financial support, so your company will sink for sure. Crap. Unlike you, I thought that my wife would be understanding of everything. Yet now she's trying to take me down for only having a little fun with some other women. I really thought that because of all the money she has, I'd be able to get away with all of this and never have her find any of this out. Yet she's now threatening me with divorce after your friend decided to break into our house. So you only married her for the money and to keep things hidden again? Seems you really need to learn your place, and the only way that will happen is that if you learn through pain and suffering. I'm sure there's something I could do about this. Huh? What? What do you plan to do? Do you know what kind of connection there is to my friend being the same person you ended up cheating with? I think I can tell your wife all sorts of things about the two of you now. What? Wait, 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 wait. Please, don't do something that you're going to regret. If she finds out even more things about me being with Isabel while married to her and the past we had together, I'll literally be in hell. And it's because you went and did all this crap that I think I'll have to talk to her. Now I have someone I need to talk to, so I'll be going. <coughs> Isabel tried her best getting down on her hands and knees to try and apologize to Jerry's wife, but she didn't budge one bit and continued to ask her for that money. So then, Isabel went and sold a bunch of her own things, as well as borrowed some money from a loan shark to get enough to pay Jerry's wife in cash. And now, because of the terrible debt she's gotten herself into, she's working all day and all night to make any money she can. And as for Jerry himself, he did end up getting told by his wife to leave her. And in the divorce, she'd also be asking for a settlement from him too. And to help make sure she was successful in all this, I helped her out by sending her all the information I knew about Jerry and Isabel, and she was able to gather enough evidence from that. There were also some messages between Jerry and Isabel regarding his wife, like him calling her a wealthy idiot, and that he only needed her for his company, which of course all led to her asking for a very large amount of money from him as well. So to pay off the money he owed his now ex-wife, Jerry was forced to close his company and sell whatever he could to afford to pay off the settlement. And now that he's met his true fate of losing his company and all his money, he's now working the night shift as a male escort trying to relive the life of having women asking him to be around. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video.